Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y and 3 were California's top-selling cars in Q1. Tesla Model 3 crushes gas vehicle competition in reliability study. Tesla Cybertruck Rhyme Motor could cost around $75,000, MotorTrend expects. And, Tesla will switch to 48-volt low-voltage system in cars to significantly reduce use of copper. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car in California in Q1 2023, by a huge margin over the competition. Tesla Model 3 finished in second. With only four car models sold, Tesla became the second best-selling brand in the state, behind only Toyota. New car registrations in California continue to grow. This year, 1.8 million units are projected to be registered in the state, up 6.9 percent from 2022. Battery electric vehicles BEVs, are generating a lot of interest among Californians. In Q1 2023, BEVs accounted for an impressive 19.5 percent, up from 17.1 percent for all of 2022. At the same time, interest in hybrid cars remains unchanged. In Q1 2023, their share was 11 percent, the same as for all of 2022. Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car, regardless of powertrain type. With 31,940 sales, Model Y showed a huge lead over any other car sold in California. From the looks of things, 2023 will indeed be the year of Model Y, and California sales figures are a good indication of that. It is worth noting that Tesla Model 3 was the second best-selling car in California, with 17,715 units sold. The Toyota Camry finished in third place, with 13,929 sales. Toyota RAV4 finished in fourth place, with 13,326 units. Closing out the top five is Ford F-Series, with 12,955 sales. With only four car models sold, Tesla gained 11.8% market share of the California automotive market. The brand is second only to Toyota, which has a 15.2% market share. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model 3 crushes gas vehicle competition in reliability study. The Tesla Model 3 has annihilated its internal combustion engine counterparts in a new reliability study from Germany. Thanks to the incredible mechanical simplicity of electric vehicles, it should come as little surprise that EVs are, on average, significantly more reliable than their fossil fuel-powered counterparts. A new study from a German vehicle analysis firm, the ADAC, highlighted this reliability advantage, finding that the Tesla Model 3 handily beats the vast majority of its gas-powered competition. The ADAC study, which primarily focuses on vehicle breakdowns, is an annual study for vehicles that are over three years of age, and it now includes four electric vehicles sold in the German market, including the Tesla Model 3, BMW i3, Volkswagen ID3, and Renault Zoe. According to the ADAC's data, electric vehicles not only lead their gas counterparts on average, but the Tesla Model 3 beat both gas vehicles and EVs in average reliability, by a wide margin. The ADAC found that out of 1,000 units of 2020 model year Tesla Model 3s, only 1.1 vehicles broke down annually, which surprisingly is a slight increase from the 2019 Model 3 which only had 0.9 breakdowns per 1,000 units. Comparatively, the average gas vehicle had 6.9 breakdowns per 1,000 units, and the average EV had 4.9 breakdowns per 1,000 units. Besides the Tesla, the BMW i3 and VW ID3 also shined as reliable within the EV segment and their size classes. The cars both scored just 0.2 breakdowns per 1,000 units. However, as noted in the ADAC study, these vehicles may benefit from fewer units on the road, potentially skewing data. Strangely, looking at the most common breakdown problems, gas and electric vehicles share a common top breakdown reason, dead battery. In the case of ICE vehicles, the study references the starter battery. 
Still, it remains unclear if this statistic was in reference to the 12-volt battery or the larger vehicle battery found in EVs. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck dry motor could cost around $75,000, MotorTrend expects. Tesla will eventually be able to release Cybertruck for around $39,000, though the Tri and 4 motor versions will cost around $75,000, MotorTrend expects. According to MotorTrend, electric vehicles are at the top of buyers' lists. The Motor Magazine, TV Network, and Car Shopping site found that in the past year, 78% of active car shoppers are very interested in EVs, and that over the next five years, nearly 50% of car shoppers say they will definitely or probably buy an electric or hybrid vehicle, according to Yahoo Finance. Although electric vehicles continue to gain popularity, their price is still a limiting factor for many consumers. Looking at the data, the most popular EV models in Motor Trends Buyer's Guide start with Tesla Model 3, followed by the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Chevy Bolt EV, Tesla Model Y, and Lucid Air. In addition, production of the long-awaited Cybertruck begins this year. Although pre-order data shows that more than 1 million consumers are waiting for the truck to be delivered, Motor Trend has mixed feelings about the new product. From a design point of view, it's very polarizing, and I think a lot of people just won't simply want it," said Alex Wellen, president and CEO of the Motor Trend Group. But he acknowledges that Cybertruck is popular with Motor Trend users, and Elon Musk has really done a good job surprising past doubters. Wellen believes pricing will be a key factor for many consumers. Here Cybertruck will have to compete with Ford F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, Chevrolet Silverado EV, and the electric Ram 1500. He believes that in the long run, Tesla will be able to deliver Cybertruck for $39,000, however its tri and four motor versions will sell for around $75,000. Musk said in 2019, three and a half years ago, that the Cybertruck would be $39,000, I think eventually, like they did with the Model 3, they'll have a $39,000 truck, Wellen said, but not right away. But if they want to do three or four motors, I would say, they would be lucky at $75,000. This will be a great price, that will attract many new customers from the truck segment, and will create excellent competition for existing and future players. Moving to the last update, Tesla will switch to 48-volt low-voltage system in cars to significantly reduce use of copper. Tesla will switch to 48-volt low-voltage system in its cars, starting with Cybertruck. According to information from CEO Elon Musk, this will help significantly reduce the use of copper in the company's cars, which is an important breakthrough. Tesla held its annual shareholder meeting on May 16. Musk gave several important updates on the company's development and upcoming plans. Among other things, he talked about a new low-voltage system of cars, which will bring significant changes in the amount of copper needed for them, which will have a dramatic impact on the company's demand for the metal. Musk confirmed that Tesla is switching its model's low-voltage system from 12 volts to 48 volts. He said, the change will take effect starting with Cybertruck, which will begin production this year, and Optimus. Then, all future cars to be produced by the company will also use the 48-volt low-voltage system. Cars have been operating with 12-volt batteries for basically about a century, so for the first time in, I think over a hundred years, we're actually going to change from 12-volt outside of the drivetrain to a 48-volt architecture," said Musk. In traditional 12-volt systems, wiring and components have to be larger and heavier to withstand the high electrical loads. However, with a 48-volt system, Tesla expects to reduce weight and save on materials. This should lead to less use of copper in its cars. According to the assumption, only a quarter of the amount currently used will be needed. Each Tesla car uses tens of kilograms of copper. In some models, they weigh as much as 82 kilograms. The Tesla Model S, for example, uses a mile of copper just to connect the battery to all the electronics. Tesla has set a goal of producing 20 million cars per year. According to Mining.com, 
the company will need 1,820,000 tons of copper to reach that goal, about 9% of global production in 2022. Based on Musk's prediction of reducing to a quarter of today's copper consumption, the company could save more than 1.3 million tons in annual production of 20 million electric cars or more than $10 billion in today's prices. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.